take a look at our units for the magnetic force on a current carrying wire. Here's the equation that we came up with on our last video tutorial and it tells us that the force is equal to the current times the length of the wire times the magnetic field strength times the sine of the angle in between the wire and the magnetic field. So if we take a look at the units on those, force is going to have a unit of newtons. Current is going to have a unit of amps. Length is going to have a unit of meters. While the magnetic field has a unit of tesla. We don't have to worry about the sine here because sine, once we do the sine of the angle, that has no units. So if we put this all together, what we end up with is units of newtons equals an amp times a meter times a tesla. Now if we wanted to use this equation to help us find an alternate unit for tesla, we take this amp meter and divide it under from our newtons and what we end up with is that one tesla is equivalent to a unit of one newton per amp meter.